All right, hi. In this quick video, I want to show you a quick tip if you are working with Cubase and like me and many other people, you are not recording your CC uh, information at the same time as you are playing. This is something I cannot do. I, ca I cannot control the modulation and the expression at the same time as I'm playing on my keyboard because I suck as a piano player. And just pressing the right key is already challenging enough for me so that I don't have to to deal with the expression and modulation and vibrate, uh, vibrato and everything at the same time. My head would just explode. So what, what, what I do is, I do like a lot of people do, they draw in using the mouse their CC information. So typically what I would do is I would open my CC lane. Here we have modulation. I would go in and I would start to draw my CC information, right? But the problem in doing this, and let me show you this a little bit better, is if I start drawing, how do I know here if I'm at, uh, let's say, mezzo forte or fortissimo, or if I'm going back to mezzo piano, piano? I, I don't really have a sense of the, of the dynamic that I'm currently using because I do not have any audio feedback. And if you are using Cubase, well, you are in luck because there is a way to get audio feedback with that. So let me show you how this is done. First of all, you have to select all the notes for which you want to draw this CC information. So l let me show you first, if I, if I quickly play these chords, you will hear that uh, it's flat. The, there is no modulation, there is no expression, there is no nothing. Th these are just block chords like this. <laughs> You get the idea. So the, the first thing that you need to do is to select all the notes and then in your piano roll what you do is just you double click on them. Uh, just one that is selected and it will open this small panel. This is called the note expression panel. You can make it bigger as you need and you can see that here in the bottom left corner it's written CC1 modulation. It means that everything that I will draw inside this panel will be applied uh, to the CC1 curve. And going up and down with your mouse, look here in the bottom right corner, you have a value. It tells you uh, which value you are currently at. And this is for CC1 modulation, but if I wanted to do expression, for example, here on the left, you have this note expression tab, you can click on it and you can choose another CC. So for example, if I click on CC11, which is the standard CC for expression. Now, if I come back to my panel, you see here at the bottom, it says CC11 expression. Let's go back to the modulation. I will take my pencil again and I will start to draw. And as I start drawing inside this panel, listen to what will happen. It's magic. See? Now, as I was drawing my curve, I could hear how the library was reacting. And honestly, this is very useful for me because I know more or less where I'm at. And for, for example, here, uh, maybe I went a bit too low so I can fix that and get audio feedback. <laughs> See, this is really cool. This is something I use a lot. So 
Once you are done, you can close the panel. To close the panel, you just click outside of the panel and you are done. But look, now if I open my CC lane for modulation, it is currently empty. So where did this CC information got written and recorded? It's called note expression because it gets recorded directly inside the notes. And to know that a note has a CC information attached to it, you have to look carefully at it. It's very small, but you see these two white triangles on the note. That means the note contains a CC information in it that you are using note expression. So to see the CC curve, the modulation for this particular note here, I can select it and double click on it. And I will see the modulation for this note. It's not really visual. So after I'm done drawing these curves, I, I, I like to, 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 to see my curve here in the CC lane and that you can do as well. So select all the notes again, go here in MIDI, go to note expression. And here you have this thing that says dissolve note expression. I even attributed a key shortcut because this is something I, I'm doing all the time, uh, 10 if not 100 times per day. So if you want to work fast, assign a, a key command to it. So click on dissolve note expression. You see now my modulation is here in my CC lane. And it removed this small triangle note expression icon from all of my notes, because if I click on it now, well, the, the information has been taken out of the note and applied to my curve here. And that's about it. I know that this works really well in Cubase. Uh, if you are using Logic or Ableton or any other DAW, I don't know if you have something similar, but to me, this is one of the, of, uh, of one, one of these areas where, where Cubase really shine when you are editing MIDI. That's it for this tip. I hope you found it useful and see you next time.